Finn Harps resurgence under manager Charlie McGeever continued with a thoroughly professional performance. A corner given away by Eamon O'Loughlin led to the game's only goal. Stuart Gold's kick headed in by centre-half Shane Bradley. His first goal for his hometown club, UCD defence, giving him the freedom of the six-yard box. Once ahead, Finn Harps controlled the game and made the better chances. Donald O'Brien going close with that volley. Fitzgerald's corner gave Palmer a free header. Should have done better, went down on his report. Harps should have doubled their advantage early in the second half. Dave Dowling's great run set up James Mulligan. But O'Loughlin's defending prevented a clean strike on goal and the chance went to begging. But there was never any doubt about who would reach the semi-finals. Such was the gulf between the sides. Excellent work by Jonathan Minnick, set up another chance for Donegal side. The combination of O'Brien and Dowling couldn't beat Kelly. As long as there was only one goal in it, UCD had a chance. But their finishing was poor. Jason Sherlock threw here well wide under pressure from the impressive Declan Boyle. Indeed, the entire Finharp side contributed to this fine win and John Jared McGettigan set up Mulligan in the closing minutes. But having engineered the opening, his shot was just inches too high. In the end, a milestone for the Donegal side who can look forward to their first semi-final in 17 years. Goal scorer Shane Bradley and manager Charlie McGeever could be on their way to their first final since they beat St. Pat's in 1974. 1974. So Cork City and Finn Harps through to the semi-finals along with Athlone or Longford and St. Pat's or Shelburne.